There's been a lot of talk recently about mining asteroids for their raw materials. Unfortunately, nobody really knows how to do that. And that's where this college stepped in with their graduate degree program in space mining. I'm Zach, this is Zach DTV, and today we're going to take a look at this. According to NASA, there is over 780,000 rocky bodies in our solar system. Tens of thousands of these bodies are what can be considered near-Earth objects or in our asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. It has been estimated that there is over 2 trillion tons of water trapped on the surface of the moon, in the asteroids around us, and on other planets. The reason water is so important is that provides rocket fuel, that provides our drinking water, our oxygen to breathe. This is a resource that we really need to be able to get to if we want to move humanity into the solar system. And that says nothing about the monetary benefit that companies would see if they could mine these asteroids. In fact, NASA says that one asteroid named Psyche 16 that was discovered back in like the 1800s holds over 10,000 quadrillion dollars worth of nickel iron. In fact, they believe if we could get to all the resources that are distributed throughout our solar system, there'd be enough money to give every human being on Earth a hundred billion dollars. As you can imagine, with so much money just basically floating around out there to be taken, our government space agencies, as well as the private ones, are really looking for a way to monetize these asteroids that are in our solar system. In fact, NASA has a mission planned to Psyche in 2026. They won't be bringing back anything from it, but they want to test the asteroid and see what quality of metal is actually on it. You also have private companies like TransAstra, Deep Space Industry, and Planetary Resources exploring possible methods of either trapping and mining asteroids or gathering water from the moon. All these things are very vital to our future though. The issue, like I said, is no one really knows how to do this. And that is where the Colorado School of Mines stepped in with their program they're calling Space Resources. And so you don't think they're just some fly-by-night school that put together a BS program to make some money. They were founded in 1873 in Golden, Colorado. And they are the premier mining school in the United States. This is where people go to learn how to really mine for the minerals here on Earth. They are the perfect school to figure out how to mine on extraterrestrial planets. And according to their website, the broad topic of space resources brings together many fields in which mines has a strong presence, including remote sensing, geomechanics, mining, materials metallurgy, robotics automation, advanced manufacturing, electrochemistry, solar and nuclear industry, as well as resource economics. And from the looks of it, they have put together a very strong curriculum that would help a future space miner. In this curriculum, they include classes like space systems engineering, space resources fundamentals. They have advanced engineering or economic analysis and also put a strong focus on remote sensing, prospecting and resource assessment, power and energy, economics and policy, which would be very important to the future space miner, remote extraction, material processing and refining, as well as robotics, autonomy, and communications. And while that does seem like a good curriculum, you have to realize that this was put together with the help of NASA and the USGS. Now, if this sounds like a future you're interested in, there are a couple hurdles you have to jump over, and I will put them up on the screen here. It's your normal things like your bachelor's degree in engineering, computer science, physical science, mathematics, or economics. In order to get into the doctorate program, you do need a 3.0 or better when you attain your bachelor. You will have to come up with a good reason to go to school there. They do want a personal statement with why you want to attend school there. And of course, for the doctorate's program, there are some more hurdles you have to jump through, but it's kind of standard stuff. And then according to a breakdown on their website, it looks like the average student is going to be paying somewhere around $1,000 per credit hour. 
which comparatively isn't bad. If you are interested in attending school here, there will be a link in the description down below. They'll take you to their homepage. You can check it out. But with all that being said, I'd also like to know what you think. Is this something that is worth anything? We have no real world experience in space mining. So how can they really put together a program to do it? I mean, when you look at it in the long run, this is basically a theoretical master's and a theoretical doctorate. And until you put it to work in the field, you have no idea if your theories are even right. Or do you think you put enough bright minds on it, they should be able to figure this stuff out from a distance? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this episode, make sure to click that like button. And if you're new here, click subscribe and hit that bell icon so you get notifications of when I put up something new. I am trying to get at least one new video out per week, hopefully more. We'll see how it works out. So I guess until next time, just have fun and be safe.